Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets, again joined by Jakob the Lodemots. And today, or yeah, today we're having a little tasting, uh, having a few, and uh, we need a palate cleanser, so <laughs> we're having a bottle of Foo Food. It just got released, we just got uh, bottles of it, or a bottle of it. We only got like six bottles per store uh, in the store and in per store, store and yeah here so only sixty bottles total made it to Denmark this year so not much but and pretty much only twelve made it to our region yeah so <laughs> that's not a lot but um great beer we wanted to review this year's vintage fresh as possible because I love getting it fresh to get that apricot flavor uh but yeah you know it, it's the fufun it's a hype cantillon beer last year's was amazing it's a five percent fruit lambic made with uh, apricots. And yeah, there's, uh, they uh, say that there's 300 grams yeah. per liter, yeah. which is... So 300 grams fruit per liter, there's only over 200 grams of fruit in this bottle. Yeah. So that is amazing. Which That's is probably how, how they get that really intense character of the 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 apricots there. But yeah, 2012 vintage, can't wait to see how this is. Uh, fruit. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, bottled uh, on the 28th of August 2012, and it's best to drink it, they say, within the year you buy it. But it can last for up to 10, ten years. years after bottling. But I'd say drink, drink it, it fresh, straight, straight up, because you get that fresh food character. Drink it like a IP, drink it like, drink it like, drink it like an IPA. Almost, not as fresh, <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, let's uh, crack this one open. So we got Fufun poured, and that's a murky orange. Yeah. Because of the fruit and all the yeast, and there's still yeast in the bottom of the bottle. But man, I got a little nice white head on mine. Yeah. It's just away quite fast, but it's understandable. It's a sour. Yeah. 5% fruit lambic, and you can smell it like already. So I'm just gonna stick my nose right in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My teeth are just right. I think I don't think we've ever had it this fresh, but nope. man, that's just like oh my god, that's just apricot, 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 funk, sour, yeah. funk, apricot, sour, funk. Wow. Oh my god, this smells so refreshing. Uh, yeah. They should release this in the summer, even yeah. though well, that's not the season for apricots, so they you can't. But yeah, man, they release it around wow. I think August, it's late August, August twenty eighth was yeah, the bottling okay. date. But I don't know how long they let, let them sit in the bottles, but. Wow, lots of intense apricot, really nice fruitiness, some funky notes, quite decent sourness of like that white grape kind of uh, apple vinegar mm. sourness, a little bit of a, uh, yeah, just vinegary sourness. Yeah. Some funky notes Did too. Did you say grapes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Grapes. Funky notes is, I'd say, the barnyardy kind of hay. Yeah. Uh, not all the way in horse blanket though, I'd say. Maybe slightly. And then, but lots of barnyard and... Uh, Kind of that old musty aroma, but really the 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 apricot really shines through and makes it dominant. But other than that, I also get almost peachy notes. But apricot and peach are kind yeah. of like um, wow, yeah. This just smells amazing. I want to try this. Taste this right now. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of sour going on. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a great palate quite cleanser. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All other people who make lambics can just go home sometimes yeah. when you talk about Cantillon. Oh my god. That's just top of the game. Right there, guys. <laughs> right there. That is fantastic. Mouthfeel? Lighter side of medium. Yeah. Not, Maybe not yeah. boring on light. Yeah. Very boring. Quite dry. It is fairly sour, though. It's yeah. puckering this sour. And the aftertaste now it feels more sour, but wow. So much safer cut. It's since I've never I've had like the apricot ale uh, sour they do at um, Cascade and in, in, like some other places, and I've never had a, an apricot sour that is done as well as Fufu by Cantillon. You can't replicate that. You could probably replicate the fruit character, but not that funk that's on top of it. Hmm. It's got that intense, almost yeah, juicy. It's like we're biting to right yeah. now a fresh apricot, like and you get all the juices in there. But it's not entirely yeah, ripe, so right, you get, yeah. yeah. So, oh man, it's just like that. But then you get that sour, funky, just by talking about it, and you can still smell the beer even though you don't have any nose. And, and like it's teeth it still runs in teeth. Yeah, it's still running. Your mouth is running in water, but you can just, like the, the aromas of the apricot is just like in the room almost. It's insane. The, as I say, peachy notes, almost lemony notes in there too. The sour is just notes. cooked soul in mouth. And just Completely, and the sourness is not overbearing because you got the fruit sweetness. Yeah. Because it does have a solid sweetness. But yeah, the the 
uh, apple vinegar kind of thing, vinegar flavor, uh, nice funk of the barnyard, old musty cellar, hay, almost in the uh, uh, horse blanket, but and it's just so refreshing. Uh, yeah, Fafoon, it's really good. I'm gonna give it a 95, it's amazing. I think I gave it a 95 last year too. Uh, this is just as good as last year's batch. Uh, now we're having a little more fresh, you get more fruit character, but amazing stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go 97. This is a great beer, and yeah. it just lives up to what it is. It's yeah, yeah, for sure. For your, those guys who don't know that what does Fufu means, on a side note here, ending the review, it is slang for vagina. In Belgium, so now you know that. So yeah guys, that does it for the beer review of the Kang Chion Fufu. 97 from Jakob, 95 from me. Amazing beer. Go get it right now, if you can, and trade for it. If you've had it, definitely let us know what you think of it, specifically the 2012, and what you think of it when you age it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're going to say cheers. Cheers. It's an amazing sour beer, and we're going to see you guys in another beer review.